Let's take a look at the multiplication of decimals. Um, now this is not something to be scared of really. The first thing I would suggest is forget that they're decimals. Instead of 1.3, think of 13. And instead of 2.5, think 25. So let's multiply 13 and 25 first of all. Five threes are 15, five carry the one. One times five is five plus one is six. Let's move on to the two, putting a zero first. Two threes are six, two ones are two. And let's add this up, five, two carry one, three. So 13 times 25 is 325, but we wanna work out 1.3 and 2.5. Now what you need to do is ask yourself, how many numbers can you see that come after a decimal point? So in 1.3, there is one digit that comes after a decimal point, And in 2.5, there is another digit after a decimal point. So in total in the question, there are two digits after a decimal point. So in the question, there are two decimal places. So therefore, our answer needs to have two decimal places. So if I put the decimal point here, I've only got one decimal place. But if I put it here, I now have one, two decimal places. So there we go. The answer is 3.25. So 1.4 times 0 0.3, I'm going to work out 14 times 3, 14 times 3, 14, 28, 42. So if 14 multiplied by 3 is 42, then 1.4 times 0 0.3. So in the question, we have one, two decimal places. So we need two decimal places in our answer. So here, I, if I put it between the four and the two, I've only got one decimal place. So if I put it in front of the four, I've now got two decimal places. And hopefully you realize that in front of the decimal point there, I'm gonna need a zero. So that is 0 0.42. 16 times 0 0.2, let's just do 16 times two, which is 32. So if 16 times two is 32, then 16 times 0 0.2, we have one decimal place. So we need one decimal place in our answer. So if I put the decimal point between the three and the two, I've got one decimal place. So the answer is 3.2. 0 0.2 times 0 0.2. Well, we know that two times two is four, but we need one, two decimal places. So with the number four, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some zeros to the left of it. And now if I put the decimal point here, I've got two decimal places and hopefully you realize that, that that other zero I wrote wasn't necessary. So the answer is 0 0.04. 0 0.4 times 0 0.2, well two fours are eight. So if I write eight with some zeros, now it's easy for me to create my two decimal places. So the answer is 0 0.08. 0 0.8 times 0 0.3, well three eights are 24. So if I just write 24 and two decimal places means I'm putting the decimal point in front of the two, so it's going to be 0 0.24. A lot of people give me the answer 0 0.024 because you've just said 0 0.04 and 0 0.08. So why is it not 0 0.024? Well, 0 0.024, that's three decimal places and we only need two decimal places. The only reason why this one is different is because th three eighths create a two digit number, whereas two fours created a single digit number, the same as two twos. Now onto the division of decimals. Now, before I get started with these questions, let's just take a look at uh, some very simple divisions. So what is eight divided by four? Eight divided by four is two. Now, if I said to you, what is 80 divided by 40? Most people are inclined to say 20, but how many 40s go into 80? It's still two. So what I've done is I've just multiplied both numbers by 10, and it doesn't matter because I still get the same answer. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing here because the problem is we do not wanna divide by a decimal. So if I multiply both numbers by 10, 150 times 10 is 1500, and 0.2, Divide, uh, multiplied by 10 is 2. 1500 divided by 2, that is now much easier. We can use a bus stop if we can't do it in our head. 0 carry the 1, 7 carry 1, 5, 0. So the answer is 750 and that is the final answer. We don't need to alter the answer. 
in the same way that 8 divided by 4 is 2 and 80 divided by 40 is also 2, 150 divided by 0 0.2 is the same as 1500 divided by 2. So 23 divided by 0 0.5, let's multiply both numbers by 10, so that's 230 divided by 5, and now it's just easy bus stop. 0, carry the 2, 4, carry the 3, 6, 46. 36 divided by 0 0.1, this one's really easy, multiply both by 10, we're going to get 360 divided by 1, and anything divided by 1 is the number you started with, which is 360. In this next example, if I multiply both numbers by 10, I'm going to get 36 divided by 0 0.4. So I've still got a nasty decimal. So I'm going to multiply by 10 again. So that's going to be 360 divided by 4. And 4's into 360. 4's into 3, 0, carry the 3. 4's into 36 is 9. 4's into 0 is 0. So the answer is 90. So the key thing when dividing decimals is just boost the whole calculation by 10 or by 100 or by 10 and then by 10 again so that you convert the decimal you're dividing by into a whole number because you do not want to divide by a decimal.